Time to take a look inside the new dock for the Switch 2. From the outside we can see it's got two USB-A ports, a USB-C port for power, HDMI and LAN ports. On the underside we're presented with three tri-wing screws, which are fastened rather firmly. On the back there's seven more tri-wing screws, but with all the screws out the case still doesn't want to come apart. I assumed because there were visible screws on the bottom that there were no screws hidden underneath the rubber feet. After removing the hidden screws, the bottom shroud comes away easily. Removing it reveals one remaining tri-wing screw and the back cover can come away. The LED light on the front corner is mounted with a Phillips head screw. and snakes through the housing to the motherboard. I'll disconnect the ribbon cable for the fan and remove six Phillips head screws that mount the motherboard. I'll unplug the large ribbon cable for the dock connector and then the motherboard can be removed. There are some marshmallow like thermal pads over what looks to be the voltage regulators. Let's see what's underneath this shield. With the shield removed, we can get a look at the whole board and its components. And now the back of the board. The two USB ports are USB 2.0. The USB-C port is only used for power. Removing the little fan, we can see it's a 0.21 amp 40mm blower fan from Delta. Now I don't know if my fan has a defect, but it's got a piece of metal cut out from the bottom which is then bent up over the exhaust. Let me know in the comments, is this a design choice to prop the mouth open or a manufacturing defect? The back cover has two clips for the back door panel and the fan exhaust channel. Back to the underside of the dock, I can remove the USB-C dock connector. It has two springs which gently drop the switch down onto the USB-C plug. We can see it's also got a spring under the connector to give the plug flexibility.
a few more screws and the two halves of the dock come apart. Okay, let's put this back together. Note that I plugged the dock into my phone charger at first and it wasn't working. So make sure you're using the included power brick to connect your dock. Thanks for watching.